Welcome to Clash of Code. In this video, Wes, Scott, and I are all going to compete to see who can solve these JavaScript problems the fastest. But today we're doing reverse mode. So we're not given any problem description. All we're given is a set of example inputs and a set of example outputs. So given the inputs, given the outputs, we have to figure out what code to write to make that happen. Is everyone ready? I'm ready to rock. I suppose so. Yeah. <laughs> Let's so stressful, so stressful, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so left-hand side, we can see that given the input one, we see one, two, we see two, 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 five, we see five, 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 five. Okay, so given the number, we need to output a pyramid of that number up to that number. So the first line of code here reads in the number, um, and then we just want a for loop. So input one, expected output one, input two, expected output two, a 22. That means we're working with for loop here, for loop. So basically we have a number, and we need to console log the number, um, but we want to we want it as a string as well. So dot two string dot repeat. Oh. Okay, and we're gonna say for the input, as long as the uh, for let i equals zero, as well, i is less than the input i plus plus, and then we're gonna say we're gonna push into d d dot push and then we're going to push in first we're going to push in d um and then uh um 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 and then we'll repeat it i times and i think if we start i at like one hours, and go up four, less than or equal to length. that is the solution there we go um print and then i'm going no, to submit that. fill it console with and dot, dot two string uh, dot repeat d i feel like cj's already done play all test cases and then we are going to join it with a new line character it's not split is it what is this uh expected one found it's a d it's a string i'm splitting the array by this oh underscore i we want to repeat it i plus one submit Done. Damn it. How does CJ get it already? What a loser. <laughs> what do you mean you found nothing? Console log, right? I'm console logging it. Is that how I output things? Yeah, you console log. We've done this like 11 times. <laughs> Am I supposed to console log the to get the output or do I do print? Uh, okay. D push. I'm pushing in. I'm pushing the D. Oh, well, I is greater than N. Oh, oh my I'm gosh. adding She's an doing array a for together loop again? with a string. What the hell was I doing that for? See, in CSS battles, he's BG color. This is his only move. And yeah. in the co this coding game, his only move Am is I a for not, loop. I'm Unexpected gonna... token. <laughs> Just submit. <laughs> Just submit. Just yeah. submit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see everybody waving their arms. Do phone a friend. You need to repeat in. Right now you're just pushing pushing in a single in. Yeah. Because if you're gonna use an array, then you need to end up with an array where each element in the array has multiple items. So you need multiple. You want to use the string repeat method. So take yeah. your n, convert it to a string, and repeat it. Well, for let, your let, let, I where variable. I could just do addition here, and it's not gonna work for the first one. But there we go. Wait, how is addition working? I don't. I don't need what? repeat. Oh, you got what it. Did you just? What you? How'd you do this with addition? What? Okay, I'll have. All right, I'll show. Share since code. I got last place, I'll show you my code. <laughs> All right, Scott's got the moves here now. I yeah. Look at me. No, I just took a string and I added the number to the string. String plus number oh, it's equals a string. Repeated. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's smart. Because string will concatenate. My fatal flaw was thinking about doing this in an array for some stupid reason. Like, oh, I'm going to turn it into an array and I then did. bump it out of the array. Why would I do that? This is a nice solution, though, because That's it's literally a great solution. Yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah, it's no like kidding. It's a and great two, solution. And <laughs> <laughs> it only took you six times as long to get there, but it's good. All right, let's see CJ's code. He obviously won it. So, oh, he used a for loop as well. Yep. I'm a for loop boy today. I don't know why. My brain's on a different planet today but i was like yeah, okay yeah, seems, so seems fine yeah repeat <laughs> so yeah from one up to in i think the hard part is like they give you a number and so like i just turned it back into a string so that i could use the repeat method which is built into javascript so yeah, yeah. i made an array and i used the map the second argument of array dot from is a map argument and you then the, you can what you're doing you too can much act, you can <laughs> access the index of that and and then i did what cj was is, is 
put it to string and then join that entire array. I'm big on like, just get the data looking like what you want and then go and log it. Yeah. Okay, Beautiful. another one? Yes. Yeah, this Clash of Coding game combines the pressure of having to work under pressure. Shut up, Scott. All right. So uh, we have the word string. We have an input with a bunch of zeros. Each line is one character less than the previous taken off the front of the input up until it doesn't have anything anymore. Okay, so I'm actually going to convert this string uh, into an array so we can just use the uh, shift method to remove from the front. First of all, we want, let's do array const answer is equal to array.from. Uh, the length is going to be the string dot length, and then we will return from that the index. We're gonna do a, an s dot split here. Then we're gonna map, and in this mapper, we'll do a for each e right. Man, I hate having to go fast on these things. No, this is so stupid, Scott. What are you thinking? I'll use a for loop uh, that goes from zero to the length of the input. So while well, i is less than s.length, s++. Plus plus. And then on each iteration, we want to log out the current value of s joined back together. And then after that, we want to remove from the front. So I think it's shift to remove from the front of the array. Assignment to a constant variable. Oh, gonna... we have to go the opposite way. Um, start number, end number. Okay. So oh, the start I did number S plus plus. This is this, my friends, is the issue with using uh, for loops. So it's going to be optional, and we're going to try this. Boom. Play all test cases. Submit. Oh, did Scott? Scott got it. Good job, Scott. I'm proud of you, boy. I'm proud of you. Do I need splice? Come on. So nope. I starts at zero. <laughs> How did Scott get it already? Uh, we're incrementing oh, no. I each time oh, no. while it's less than. Oh, oh the length, we need bro? to store input length ah. as a static variable because this is changing. So we need the initial length. This. Oh, is just still going? Uh, Holy that way smokes. it doesn't change. Man, I would have won that, but go. I spelled uh, freaking length, the word length wrong. I'm proud of him. All right, let me unmute. <laughs> Who do you think I am? I am. <laughs> wow, Scott comes back firing. <laughs> With like a, like a full 20 second lead. Yeah, All good right, job. Yes. I'm moving slow today and I'm using for loops. This is, a, if you use a for loop, you need to hold on to that length because that length is changing. Because basically I take the input on each iteration, remove the first character mm -hmm. and log it out Log it out each time. Uh, but length yeah, is so changing, so I need, it. Yeah, I need that to be static. And I think if you tried to use a for each on the converted array, the length would be changing so things would get weird there too. I don't know, but man, yeah, my shit. Solution. Look at Shift. you. Yeah, Shift. So that, getting shifty Very with it. rarely do I use any of these mutating methods, but yep. shift I never use. Never. And I was proud yeah. of myself for remembering that that's the one that takes, <laughs> it takes off the front of the array, pop takes off the end of the array. Oh, man. So, all right, let's see what Wes did. Oh, yes. Okay, Wes, that's very good. similar to what I did in some ways. I created an array and then just sliced from the back. Oh, no, from the yeah. front. I thought I had to do the back, which is why I lost. And then, oh no, I did from the back. That's what, that's the minus uh, multiplying it by negative one. Oh, negative one. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I feel like this is this is too much. This is how my brain works. It, you guys are bringing <laughs> for loops out. No chance. That's I didn't bring a for loop a out. I brought a for each out, and I just used wow. the dang index. You so split you it. split it, and then you do a for oh, each. You grab that's the index, a good idea. and then you slice it. Yeah, so like you don't need the second parameter in slice. <sighs> you just say start from the current index. Sick. Beautiful. And you came up with that in a minute and 37 seconds. I'm so proud of you, yeah, Scott. That's this amazing. Is, thank you. This is great. This is the first time I've ever gotten anything other than last <laughs> place, I believe. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, do you want to do one more? Winner yes. takes all? I kind of want to win for once. I just get in second place the whole time. I did hear Wesley is going to win this one, though, and I, I'm going to smash that doubt it button. <laughs> doubt it. All right, get this effing modal off the screen. I don't want to see this modal when it's a get out of here. No way. Okay, so we're doing maths, but it's on multiple lines. Oh, 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 okay. Um. Oh boy, expected input five times four. Okay, five times, that's just math. It's just math. I think so we could use eval, but we need a we need a map lookup. Um, 
So we need a map that says the X is the multiplication sign. And then um, the minus is the minus <clears throat> sign. But I guess we don't even need to do that. Um, so let's just say uh, if map at equation, uh, then equation equals map at equation. Parse int number one. Um, but how do you dang do the math? What, a, like, um, get out of here. It's not an int. I've already lost this one, I'm going to be honest. Um, should I do a case switch? Uh, let's just do an if statement. If equation is equal to minus console.log number one minus number two. And honestly, it doesn't even need to be com this complicated. So if, uh, if the equation is an X, then the equation becomes the multiplication sign. That's literally all I wanted to do. And then now all we have to do is create a string that has all three of them in there. So number one, the equation, and number two. We join it all together, and then we run eval on this whole thing. Oh, man, what is that stupid JavaScript? Wes Boss here. Thank you so much for checking out Beginner JavaScript. Uh, create a string that has all three of them in there. So number one, Plus, the uh, equation, and number two. And join it all together. Man, divide is the last one. On this whole thing. Um, what is Play the darn test thing? cases? Are you executing? Come on, 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 submit. Evil unless Hell the yeah! Is what is assignment to call? Call. Is it call? Let, oh, Wes Finally. got it. Nice. Uh, I just went dirty. I can't even believe I even thought to do a case switch. Uh, m me smashing the doubt it button is going to uh, bite me in the ass here. Doubt it. Am I crazy? Yeah. This is the exact type of thing I go to chat GPT for, and which is why I am doing that right now. Oh, I just have to write proper JavaScript. That's all. Wes Boss here. Thank you so much for checking out beginner JavaScript. <laughs> I did a double, e I did a single equals instead of a triple equals. CJ submitted something. I'm I'm going to submit because I don't honestly know how to do this without actually looking it up. Uh, but I'm guessing Wes did switch statements. Yeah, this is it. I just this said is... I was going to write a switch statement, but I can never remember the syntax. I was like, just if statements. Yeah. If yeah. you're this not is worried your, about it. Yeah. Calculator 101. If it's a subtraction, do a subtraction. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew eval was the method to get it done fast, though. I knew it yeah. was that. I just couldn't like I, I, I just couldn't get my brain to remember eval i may have even said the word eval before randy yeah. if i did that'll be a fun edit man is it execute execute um what is the darn thing but nice job wes in a minute and a half you wrote out all these if statements i don't think i could write four if yeah. statements Co in a minute it, and a half. copy paste and then oh. and multiple cursors and then the only one you really needed to change was the multiplication beautiful yeah, yeah that was a fun one I'm glad i finally won the last one it, winner takes all roll the clip cj said yep. winner takes all do you want to do one more Winner takes all. I think we should we should clash some some people other than us as well. Let us know who in the comments we should be clashing against and, and in what languages as well. I think it'd be fun. We should maybe do them in languages that we're not super comfortable in as well. Because yeah. we could do it in like 10 minutes. Like Rust. Yeah, I, uh, I can't wait to embarrass myself in front of other people. <laughs> Story of my life.